Hi everyone, so today we are fertilizing. And I try and do my fertilizers on Fridays. This is the Proven Winners brand because F for Friday, F for fertilizer. So I'm calling it Fertilizer Friday to help me remember. Um, this does say you need to fer fertilize it, you need to add it to the water every third watering. I do mines every other week. <laughs> so last year I fertilized every other week. Um, I actually, last year I used the Miracle Grow fertilizer. And I still have some left in there. So once it's finished, once this is finished, I'm going to jump to that. It costs so much to ship this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so that's the only drawback. If, it, if you can't get this in store, it is expensive to ship because it goes by weight. It's like two and a half pounds. So I was a bit bummed about that, about the shipping. Um, I'm going to add, it says to add, hold on, let me see. In a clean pail or watering can, mix one tablespoon of Proven Winners Premium water soluble plant food with one gallon of water so i add one scoop to this and the reason, main reason why i use this because i can get to the actual root of the plant because this is expensive and so i don't have to waste it i've seen a lot of people um they attach the the miracle go thing to the holes but then you end up spreading it over the garden i guess it gets to the other parts of the garden that needs nutrients as well but this is not cheap so i'm like okay i'm gonna get it to the plant that needs it not to the surrounding areas so that's what i do for now um i primarily target the this is mainly for the super tunis because they take a lot of water you put to water them every day and if you don't water them you can see the struggles from the heat in them um i'm in florida it gets hot here and they get stressed very easily so you have to water them every day so I come out with my little can or sometimes I use the hose, depends on which part I'm getting because if I bring the hose through the garden, it's gonna smush the plant. So it's a lot easier to use this. Sometimes I use my sprinkler as well. Um, the reason why I don't use a sprinkler most of the time because it, the zone that it's set up on waters other areas of the garden, wastes my water. <laughs> so that's another thing. Um, yeah, so that's what I pretty much do to fertilize and not everything gets fertilized let me see i don't put it on the roses the roses i do i use holly tones that's separate the rose on the evergreen they get the rose tones sorry the hydrangeas i do put it on the hydrangeas the um macrophylla hydrangeas i don't think i put it on the limelight hydrangeas but the macrophylla hydrangeas i put it on that and what else is over here all my containers because they have super tunas in there i'm going to put it on so pretty much most things in the garden is going to get fertilized today so let me show you what the inside looks like so when you open it up in case you want to see the numbers 24 12 17 i'm not gonna lie to you and pretend i know what the phosphorus and all that is i would know to stand for phosphorus or something so you're supposed to dump it in here i haven't done that i'm lazy <laughs> So I've just been scooping it out the bag, but you will dump it in there to make it easier for yourself. Because every time I get it, I don't have my scissors. Like right now, I don't have the scissors. And I keep saying I'm going to go back and do it when I get inside. And I never end up doing it. So I scoop it out the bag. So I'm going to take one scoop of this. I don't put it in the can. So take my one scoop out. And I just put one in here. And then I just fill it up with water. All right, so then we're gonna pour it in here. And let's water all of them. And pretty much you water all the animals. <laughs> Give them all a good drink of water. I think 90% of my plants in my garden is going to get fertilized. And then once it's done, I refill it and do it again. 
Look at my verbenas, guys. Look at that. Look at the pink one. The pink one is the most, the more vigorous one out of all of them. I'll give you another video on that. I'll probably do another video for the verbenas this weekend. And to be fair, I'm going to give um, the Proven Winners fertilizer, the water-soluble fertilizer, the whole entire can. I'm going to use all of it first, and then I'll actually decide if it's better than the other ones. I'm actually trying to avoid pouring the water on the leaf, up, which <laughs> I end up pouring on the leaf anyways. But the reason why I was trying to do that is because... Um, if you pour the water on the leaf when the sun comes out and if they are wet the um, sun will burn the leaf and then you end up with black spots on the leaf but the sun is going down I'm doing this in the evening so hopefully they'll be fine for the hydrangeas all right so I'm gonna finish up my watering it is a tedious task I'm sure you guys want to be refill and water each time but there go the flowers and that was gonna be a quick video so I'm gonna hurry and get this done because I have to head out soon so thank you for watching and I'll see you next video bye